Let me ask you a question. Who has the most responsibility in a conversation? Is it the sender or is it the receiver? You know, I believe it's the sender, and here's my reasoning. If I'm trying to communicate something to Nancy, it's important I say it in a way she can understand. Sure, it's her responsibility to listen, but if I don't say what needs to be said in a way that she can really hear me, the communication is not going to happen. I know from experience that Nancy will hear what I am saying best if I speak in a calm tone of voice, if I look her in the eyes, and if I give her time to respond. If my voice is harsh, if I'm distracted and not looking at her, or if I rush her response, she's not going to hear what I'm saying. Think about your spouse. What have you learned about them that will help you in communicating? When does your spouse listen best? What tone of voice works best? What things distract you both from speaking and listening? What makes your spouse feel comfortable with you? Being a student of the person you're married to can help you effectively communicate together, and that helps build an awesome marriage.